Hello, my name is Mihai Fieraru and here I present AI Fit, automatic 3D human interpretable feedback models for fitness training. In nowadays busy environments, fitness is essential to maintain health. People need to exercise correctly, analyze their progress and maintain motivation. Here we propose improving fitness experience by recent advances in 3D human reconstruction and AI. We introduce AI Fit, a system that reconstructs the 3D pose of a person, segments its movement into exercise repetitions, compares the movement to the one of an instructor and provides quantitative temporal feedback localizable in 3D. Related works use additional sensors such as IMUs or the Microsoft Kinect. When they don't, they ignore the temporal domain, do not provide feedback or are limited to only 2D pose inference. To support research and evaluation, we introduced the Fit3D dataset consisting of one fitness instructor and 12 trainees of various height, weight, gender and body fitness levels. All subjects performed 37 exercises with at least 5 repetitions. The marker-based mockup system records around 3 million ground truth 3D skeletons synchronized with RGB sequences under 4 camera viewpoints. We also annotate the extent of each repetition. Here we show an overview of our method. Given an exercise routine of a trainee, we first perform 3D human reconstruction. The sequence of 3D skeletons is then fed to our repetition segmentation algorithm. We then compute a signature for each repetition of the trainee, which we compare to the reference signature of the instructor under a critic threshold. This global parameter determines how critical the system should be of a trainee's performance. The statistical coach then populates a reference assessment table, based on which a grammar generates natural language feedback. We propose using estimated 3D poses to segment exercise repetitions. We use the negative mean per joint position error as an affinity measure between frames and optimize various autocorrelation measures. Here we show ground truth repetition segmentation. In our method, we first optimize the repetition period, assuming it is fixed. Then we optimize the beginning of the first repetition and use it as an initialization for a final optimization where we drop the fixed period constraint. AI Fit looks at different angular features of the 3D skeletons, either articulation angles at joints or angles between limbs and person-centered 3D axes. Here we show the angle representing the curvature of the back. In a squat exercise, this angle should be fixed and around pi, as in the case of the instructor shown in blue. Now we show the angle between the upper arms and the up axis in a dumbbell lateral raise exercise. The angles of the two arms of the instructor have similar magnitudes, while the trainee's angles are more chaotic. We now make the observation that, for each exercise type, a set of angular features define the motion, as the angle shown here, while others should be fixed as the angle of the back in the previous example. We call these active and passive angular features respectively. Therefore, for each exercise type, we automatically select these two sets of angular features. Given an exercise performed by the instructor, we compute the angular features across the sequence of 3D skeletons, integrate their values as a measure of energy, and partition them into two sets, active and passive angles. We can now apply standard statistical operators on these angular features to obtain a signature of each exercise performed either by a trainee or an instructor. This signature is a space allowing comparison to the trainer's movement, allowing for detailed 3D feedback. Here we show some results. The exercise repetition segmentation method is robust to the accuracy of the estimated 3D poses. It is more accurate when the reconstruction method uses multi-view or is fine-tuned using our motion capture data. We also compared the feedback obtained from ground truth poses to the one obtained from different variants of the reconstruction method. The accuracy is higher when the critic threshold is more permissive and when the 3D pose estimation method is more accurate. Finally, we show results of AI fit outside the lab. On the left, we show the 3D reconstruction and the repetition segmentation results, while on the right we show the automatically generated feedback. The Fit3D dataset will be available soon on our project website. Thank you.